This is a giant sphinx. I've done a little bit. Gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna He's gonna go. Big oh, boy. Big huge. boy. Please stop. Okay, let me see. Yeah, he's, he'll stop. There he is. There he is. Oh my God. Okay, that guys. Is huge. Guys, look. Giant Sphinx. Look at the size of that moth. Let me tell you something, guys. I've seen this on videos and pictures a thousand times. I, I Well, you got to see it in person <laughs> to realize how big it is. That is a huge, that huge moth. Hey, folks. David Fine here from Keys Moths. Today, we are talking about one of my absolute favorite moths, and it's no wonder why it is. It's one of the largest moths. It's, in fact, it's the largest Sphinx moth in North America. It's the giant Sphinx, Cochidius antius. Uh, it's, a, it's a tropical species that lives throughout Central and South America, uh, and we get to have them here in South Florida. It, it is a, a phenomenal butter moth, phenomenal moth. I've only seen uh, maybe a dozen or two uh, somewhere around there in my entire life. So they're not common in South Florida, but they will come to lights. I think over the course of my Keys Moths project, uh, I've probably found seven or eight total. Uh, this particular video is being taken in North Key Largo. Uh, guys, we actually found three of them in one night in North Key Largo at Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge. So I'm gonna share some of that as experiences with you. But first I'm gonna show you uh, some of the idea is the facts about this moth. It's the largest sphingid in North America. It's huge. The female is there. The males and females are dimorphic. The females are larger than the males. You can see that massive abdomen where she houses all those eggs. Uh, both species are gray on the forewing. They have a translucent window on the hind wing with a yellow spot there and a kind of a black border. And they've got those yellow spots down, running down the abdomen on each side. Uh, females are, are considerably larger than males, and uh, they are very impressive to see when they're in flight. When they're resting, they cover their hind wings and they camouflage very well on the bark of a tree, as this individual is showing here. And uh, one of the cool things about this bug is it has the longest proboscis of any species that I've ever seen. I've measured them up to eight inches long. I've actually mounted this one with its proboscis extended. Very impressive. They feed on pond apple, which is an, an anona species, and the larva is this massive green caterpillar. Very, very impressive. Uh, it's got the white stripe back by the hind, by that uh, tail-like appendage. The pupa is really cool. Typical sphingid pupa, but it's got this, uh, this big proboscis chamber, which is pretty cool. And uh, I've only ever reared two of them to an adult um, in, in the lab because I had all the larvae that I've found in the wild, only two of them weren't parasitized. So they have a high degree of parasitization um, by barachnid wasps. And so uh, in incredible moth, I truly enjoy it every time I see them. And uh, now we're just gonna share some of these videos that we took on the last trip to Key Largo where we got to see several of these guys in action. Check it out. Giant Sphinx, oh my gosh. Wow, Calcidius let me see if I can put my finger. Yep. Look at this guy, this thing is, my... That's a monster. It is a monster. That is a monster moth. Wow. Holy smokes. Beautiful moth. You won't believe man. it, but when I saw it, I, I, I thought it was a bird. <laughs> I was like, what, what the Ricky's hell? like, there's a bird coming to the light. What's up with that? Yeah. Giant Sphinx, guys. Beautiful. All right, guys, hold on. Let's let's take a minute to appreciate this. So this giant Sphinx just rolled into my light. This is Cochidius Antius, the giant Sphinx. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to show you guys a little bit about this moth without scaring him. Let's see. It has one of the longest proboscis of any moths. Oh, no, no, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, let's see if I can show you the proboscis on this thing. Guys, the, the proboscis is that big brown thing curled up underneath. I've measured them to eight inches long before, guys. Eight inch proboscis on a moth that's pretty cool. And while, while I'm here, look at this butterfly. It's an angelic hair, uh, 
fulvous hair streak just landed on the rocks. Look at that. It's a fulvous hair streak. All right. He flew off. Oh, no, he's, he's right there. Look at this, guys. You never know what you're going to see at night in the Florida Keys. There is a fulvous hair streak. Look at him. There's another one. Another hair streak. Look at that fulvous hair streak just landed up. All right, folks. Now, after coming back from the other sheet, we have at our sheet at Ricky's Light a beautiful giant sphinx male big boy sitting there now down here oh there you go no, 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 no. beautiful oh he's a beaut two of them guys male two two males two male giant sphinx oh he just landed look at that what a fantastic, this is the third one for the day. That uh, that's definitely the most, the most giant sphinx I've ever seen in one day, one, one trip. Night. Yep. So that's fantastic guys. This is gorgeous. Now, if we could just get a nice big female, it would be awesome. that would be awesome. Yep. Um, oh, check this out. White angle wing Ooh. geometrid. Beautiful. And then there's a nice little melopotus here. But yeah, guys, Giant Sphinx, three thumbs up for the Giant Sphinx, baby. Please. This is a Giant Sphinx. I'm gonna let it be. Gonna yeah, be. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, He's gonna go. Big oh boy. Big huge. boy. Please stop. Okay, let me see. Yeah, his, he'll stop. There he is. There he is. Oh my God. Okay, that guys. Is huge. Guys, look. Giant Sphinx. Look at the size of that moth. Let me tell you something, guys. I've seen this on videos and pictures a thousand times. I, I well, you gotta see it in person to realize how big you're. That really. is a huge, that huge moth. Look at the size wow. of that bad boy. So he's a very fresh male. Very fresh, right? Very, very fresh male. He's so still, that means the female will be bigger. The female's way bigger than oh that. Oh my god! <laughs> that's a monster. Oh yeah, that's a gorgeous guy. Wow, yeah, that's what a beautiful, beautiful moth. No, let's see. All right, guys, that wraps things up uh, for us here at Key Largo. We have, uh, I show, we showed you some giant sphinx, the Cochidius anteus, the giant sphinx, the largest sphinx moth in North America. And guys, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this moth and we found three of them. That's a lot because their host plant is not very common here. There's one little stand of the, um, Anona that I believe that they're feeding on right over there, which is one of the reasons I set up here. And because we got not only the giant sphinx, but also we found Gonadonna Biden. No relation to the president, <laughs> but it's also a Noctuid moth. It's very rare. We found three of them tonight and I've only ever seen one in my entire life. So, um, Ricky's still playing around back there with some bugs. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing, but, uh, but guys, uh, the giant Sphinx, we got going to Donna Biden. It's, it's been a great, great night. So, uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Ricky, you have fun, buddy. Oh yes, I did. I loved it. This dude's like a, Oh, look, a glowing click beetle. Look at him, <laughs> Dude. It, that's a great, great image right there. He's, the little glow, glow eyed cook. What do they call those in Cuba? Cocuyo. Cocuyo? Mm -hmm. There he go. goes. <laughs> Very good. Cocuyo. All right. It's a click beetle, but um, we're having a blast, guys. And we have, we're going to put out a list for you of all the moths that we identified um, in Moth Week down here in the Keys. Guys, we had a great time. There were tons of moths. And um, we still haven't even gone through our bucket light trap. So, guys. Take care. Uh, hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Bye now.